Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Jason Derulo's Uzo from Z2 Comics. A uh, pretty interesting graphic novel, written by Jason Derulo and Anthony Piper, illustrated by Eric Coda, lettering by Anne World Design, colors Felipe Sobrero, um, and then there's also contributions to the original work is uh, uh, Reagan Miller. I'm going to go Reagan. Reagan? Reagan? I'm going to go Reagan. Um, all right, so um, I'm gonna start with the, the, the simple of like, anytime you kind of hear celebrities doing co comics, you kind of cringe a little bit. I mean, the the amount of I'll say uh, not quite up to snuff comics is pretty high. Uh, you know, there's just a very long list that's just not very good, uh, and it seems to be there's a lot of uh, a lot of celebrities. Doing comics later for uh, lately due to their like, you know, wanting to get whatever project idea out uh, out there, and you know, of course, maybe get it on film or whatever. Um, so going into this, I kind of was like a little, you know, a little iffy. I'll be completely honest, uh, but it's actually it's really good. Uh, this is a pr is a solid, solid graphic novel, entertaining enough that I actually want a sequel. I want to see more of this world and of these characters. So it's the future, and there's been a um, there's been a an asteroid that, that hit the Earth and destroyed it, um, and th these asteroids are kind of like all over the planet, and uh, they are a really good power source, so are kind of coveted by is these evil military uh, folks, uh, but they also are doing a lot to heal the planet as well. The areas around the asteroids tend to be a little bit warmer. Uh, the plants are healing and growing. The the land is getting better. Uh, becomes a more habitable land. So they're they're doing something to the earth as well. Of uh, the positive thing. So this is a story about this uh, village. Uh, Uzo is one of the people that live in this village, uh, and they live around one of the asteroids, and they're there to kind of protect it. And of course, they have to go take on the evil uh, military folks who want to take it from them. Um, it's, it's a pretty, I mean, it's really that simple. There's not much more complicated as far as the plot. It's actually pretty good. I mean, the, the action is, is solid. There's some really good, like, tense act, you know, ten, tense confrontational scenes. Um, the character interactions are really good. I like the designs there. I think they're really cool. Uh, they got the village, which, you know, is, you know, a little kind of more, uh, rural, a lot of like, like, you know, furs and, you know, simpler designs, and then the military, you know, obviously with their uniforms, um, the the land themselves, like the the worlds themselves, like feel very kind of like lived in, uh, and would make some sense as to like what's going on. Uh, the plot is actually pretty good of like how everything plays out, and I think the actually thing that I really enjoy it is like you know as the story goes on, there gets some really interesting philosophical debate uh, that you know is kind of unexpected. Um, you know, there's this question of, you know, do you use this asteroid to help fuel and uh, rebuild humanity, uh, even though the asteroid's use would uh, further damage the environment, or do you let it kind of do its thing and figure out how to live harmoniously with the environment, even though that might take longer? Um, and I think that's actually a pretty interesting debate. Like, there, there is, you know, one person who is kind of, well, have that extremist, extreme environmentalist view that, you know, humanity is, is across that threshold, they're destroying the planet, uh, we've crossed that line, and, you know, less people would be a good thing. Um, you know, that philosophy, that, that viewpoint is, is thrown in there, and I think that's it's a really interesting viewpoint to have in the comic. And so, in the end, like, there's a lot of gray that's kind of thrown out there, uh, and it never really answers who's definitively right and who's definitively uh, wrong. It allows kind of the readers to decide uh, what's up. And um, there's the other thing I like is like there's there are twists and turns to it. There's are there's a lot of reveals. Um, there is of course you know a lot of history of these characters, uh, and it slowly uh, comes out. And some of it's predictable. Some of it like I saw coming a mile away, uh, but some of it wasn't. And I think that's actually really good as well. So overall, like narrative wise, story wise, it's really 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 solid. Um, and the the interaction between these characters are really great. Um, you know, there's maybe a, a, one or two emotional scenes that kind of just don't quite hit. Um, like one character dies and like, 
you know quite get the emotional hit that you know you you would expect or want. Uh, so that doesn't quite fly. I mean, there's there's one or two spots that I'll call like flat. They just don't quite hit the right way. And I think the final act, probably like the last, not third and not even like a quarter, like maybe the last ten percent, just feels rushed and not. It needs to be expanded upon a little bit. Um, but overall, like I think it's it's a pretty solid read. Um, shockingly so, and I'm I'm really pumped about this. This is one that I'd be kind of fascinated to see if we can get more from this. Um, so yeah, this is this is a this is good. Um, it's actually good. There's as I said, like there's there's a string of of comics coming out from from celebrities. A lot are just not that great. Um, but, you know, there's some that are, like, really, really stand out and are, are solid. And I think this is one that's really solid. Um, I enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed this. And I, I'll admit, going into it, I kind of did not expect to at all. Uh, and was, you know, rolling my eyes a little bit. But the more I read, the more I got sucked in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. I mean, like, it's nothing groundbreaking. But it's all just done really well. And it's done well enough that, like you want more you want to see like where this goes and these characters and you know maybe expand upon some of the revelations a little bit more and like where this world can uh, can expand to so props to everyone involved i think it's it's a it's a solid read it's entertaining read uh and some good stuff uh as far as extras there's a couple pinups but that's about it uh so yeah you can go get th this now uh, being published by Z2 Comics. Uh, we got a link beneath our video. You should be with this from, from comic shops eventually. Uh, we got a, a link beneath the video. Open your zip code and tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own as well. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site as well. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank Z2 Comics for hooking us up with this. We really appreciate it. It's very, very cool stuff and can't wait to see what else this publisher has. Um, if you want the latest graphic novel news, comic news in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.